watching the highlights of the men's singles and Son Wan Ho winning that men's singles against Chen Long. What a feast it was. Really great badminton men's singles. And the next match, the final match coming up today is a men's doubles. The world number one and Asian Games champions from Indonesia, Gideon and Sukamulya against the surprise from Malaysia, Ong and Teo. And the HSBC race to Guangzhou in the men's singles. We see Goldie Shem and Tan Lee Kyung as a number one because they won the tournament last week. And with the semi-final in this week, they are already well on their way to a Guangzhou end of the year. But let's see how it goes. There's obviously many, many, many more tournaments to play. 26 in total. Here we've got the men's doubles draw. And uh, as you can see, Ong Yu Sin and Tu Yi Yi, the surprise of this tournament, are unseeded. And they are up against Gideon and Sukamulyo, the number one seed, the number one in the world, and the Asian Games champions. And uh, here we have the fantastic Indonesian duo, Marcus Gideon, leading the two players on to court, Kevin Sukamulyo, just behind him. They uh, won the Asian Games 2018, but not only the Asian Games. They won nine tournaments in 2018. Incredible nine tournaments. Their opponents of today, Ong Yu Sin and Tu Yi Yi, is Ong Yu Sin leading the two players onto court, followed by Tu Yi Yi. Tu Yi Yi and Ong Yu Sin, number 27 on the world ranking. So there's a massive gap between these two pairs. But let's see what happens on the day. You never know. At the All England uh, in 2018, they played in the quarter final, I think it was, but it was three games at the time. But last time they played was in the Indonesian okay. Open and the Indonesians are 21 18, 21 12, and in the head to head, they are now 3 0 up. And the profile here of Margus Fernaldi Gideon, 27 years of age. They are ranked at one in the world, and they have been ranked. 81 weeks as a number one. First time was the 16th of March 2017. Been the outstanding pair on the world circuit last year. And his partner here, Kevin Sanjaya Sukamoyo, 23 years of age. Of course, the same ranking applies. Probably the fastest men's doubles player in the world, combined with the most awesome technique. Always uh, seeking the attack, always want to play a positive, aggressive badminton. The way to this final, they uh, played three games in the quarterfinal against the, the Japanese pair Inui and Kaneko. 47 minutes, but fairly safe in the third game, 21-14. Their opponents from Malaysia here, Ong Yu Sin, age 23. He is born in historic Malacca, just two hours south of Kuala Lumpur and halfway to Singapore. He will be turning 24 in just a few days on the 30th of January. His partner, Tiwi Yi, is 25 years of age and uh, he is born in Moa, which is Johor, very, very close to Singapore. They are number 27 on the world ranking, but they have been 
as high as number 16 in the world. They stayed 16 in the world for six weeks. They have been fighting very hard, but uh, two fantastic wins. They beat a number eight seat and number two seat on the way here to this final. In the first round, it was Lao and Su from Chinese Taipei winning 21-14, 21-14, number eight seed out. Then in the quarterfinal, Kimura and Sonoda also in two straight games and winning 21-19, 21-16, and then the number two seats were out. The court officials for this match is at Vancouver of the Czech Republic as umpire and Kulkarni of India is the service judge. Overwhelming favourites here from Indonesia, Gideon and Sukumoyo. And the underdogs here from Malaysia, Ong Yu Sin and Tiu Yi. Marcus Gideon serving and he's starting off with one of these spin services and look at the result on that return of serve way out of court yeah it's so hard to return a serve like that yeah. but you're right Morton definitely the number ones in the world big favorites coming in but the locals you have the fans behind the Malaysians too and it, that can make a, a little bit of a difference but uh, yeah these Indonesians they're just phenomenal as I mentioned earlier, they actually did play three games uh, when they met at the All England in March of 2018. So the big $1 million question is, what, in your opinion, should Ong Yu Sin and Tui Yi do to win this one? Well, they, did have to, they have to block it. They have to block it in the open spots. It's hard because, you know, the Indonesians are so powerful on the flat exchanges, so you have to find those holes try to get on attack and uh, don't give them the opportunity. Tsukamoyo is so quick out there. He is the fastest player around for sure. Getting on with the big hits from the back and, and that's the strength too. You want to try to switch them. Put Gideon, is, Gideon in on the front of the court and uh, that can make a big change as well. It was a good match yesterday. Uh, Gideon and Sukumoyo versus uh, Kobe Shen and uh, Tan Hui Chong, also from Malaysia yesterday. It went uh, not the full distance, but it was really, really quality badminton. 21-18, 24-22 did the Indonesians win. Yeah, it was good to see uh, Go and Tan play so well. They won last week in Thailand, but be able to play that well and, and get back up on on their game as well they won the silver medal at the last olympics but uh, to see them push through again it, it, it's great to see oh fantastic defense That's what set that up. again trying to find the, those holes it's hard to do fantastic goes cross Comes in and puts it away.
awesome play. Fantastic badminton here from the beginning of this men's doubles final. Well saved by Gideon, but look at the shot here from Ong Yu Sin, forcing Kevin Sukamuyo into a full stretch. He's waiting for the straight one, but cross it comes. And again, trying to find those holes, they're hard to find, but that's the key, that's what they have to do. Redirect it, put it in those holes. Yeah, well played, interesting, and the crowd is just loving it. Service from Ong Yu Sin. But even had that four not been called, I think it would have been very tricky. Spirit here by Chiu Yi, a former junior world uh, champion back in uh, 2011. He won the men's doubles. And last year, the two Malaysians they lost to their compatriots, Govi Shem and Tony Chong, in the second round of uh, the Malaysia Masters. This pressure on the Malaysian combination in the defence most of the time as Gideon and Sukumoyo are just launching one attack after the other. to the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-8. Good return here by Sukumoyo, setting partner Gideon up really nicely. 
very short lift, just putting it away. There's only one place louder than here. <laughs> Sanayan, Historia right. Sanayan <laughs> in Jakarta. And we're going there next week. Yeah, looking forward to that. But both of these places are great badminton nations. And, and it's always fun with, with crowds like this. 11 8. So quick coming to the net. About eight. That's a short lift. Sukumoyo gets up. Nice smash right down the line. Uh, what a fantastic year the two Indonesians had last year. As I mentioned earlier, they won eight open events. Indonesia Masters, Indian Open, All England, Indonesia Open, Japan Open, Denmark Open, Fuzhou China Open, Hong Kong Open, and top of that, the Asian Games. Outstanding performance in 2018. Yeah, they're almost in unstoppable, really. They're so quick out there, all around fantastic players. They are missing out on the World Championships and, of course, the Olympic Games. But I think they've won pretty much everything else. They only lost four matches last year. They lost in the Thomas and Ubercott against Nam Dash and Phuong Phuong Pet from uh, Thailand. Then the Malaysian Open, Herji Ting and Tan Chang from China. The World Championship the lost to Kamura and Sonoda from Japan. And the China Open, they lost to Han Chen Kai and Sao Haodong from China. Only four matches in one year. Thirteen ten up in uh, this final. Smash directed correctly to the hip of uh, Tui Yi on that forehand side. 14 10. For the Asian Games champions.
fact that the uh, Malaysian combination do right in attacking uh, Gideon, as he is somehow the weaker link of the two players from Indonesia. points goes to Malaysia now just two points between the pairs 16-14 That's short of the service line just kicked at the top of the tape slowed the shuttle down and did not make it all the way to the line 17-14. And here we saw some of the strength here from Tiwi Yi. He's got a very, very strong hand. Game point 15. Uh, 21 15 it is. First time of asking. Gideon Sukumoyo takes the opening game 21 15. The power they have in their fingertips, the way they can smack it right across. Incredible. Just picks the spots. the second game. Let's see if the advice from Paulus Fierman, the head coach of Malaysia, is helping this Malaysian pair. Paulus Fierman actually from Indonesia himself. Both Malaysia and Indonesia have superb doubles and the coaching, but uh, 
Yeah, coming over here, giving that little extra. Service fault called. Service. I think that's only the first time in this tournament that we have seen it that he, Gideon has actually been faulted. On, in other tournaments, we have seen that he's been faulted many more times than what has happened in this tournament. What defense. Oh, nice. Quick on the feet. P.O. that time puts it away. Very skillful player and very active at the net. Front of the court here, managed to finish this one. Once again, well finished by uh, Tiwi Yi. Yeah, that was a poor serve. Really letting uh, partner down on you sin here. That serve was not of quality. Challenge by Ong Sin on uh, Marcus Gideon. Got to get it out of this man's reach. As soon as he's there, chances are he scores the point.
again going at the pocket of Tio. Gideon has made uh, a few mistakes here in uh, the first half of the second game when it comes to attack and also on his defence. And suddenly it's Malaysia in the driving seat here, 10 8 up in the second game. took a challenge, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. It was hard to see on that angle, actually. Uh, it wasn't too, too wrong on that. It's a way in. Keep the attack on Gideon. And go into the interval here. This time, the Malaysian partnership is leading in 11-10. Redirect it, that's find the holes and redirect it if they have any chance in this game. Yeah, 
this is a very, very good match we're wit witnessing here in the finals. In the men's doubles here, Tiwi Yi to serve to Marcus Gideon. 13-11 up. Return that serve. Yeah. It's Did you see the spin on that serve? Definitely wouldn't like to return that. It's so hard. Ties it back up at 13 apiece. Just kind of chops under the serve. Of course, it's a bit like it, the old serve, the spin serve. That was called to, and named the Sidek serve. But that was when they were hitting the feathers and the base at the same time. Now, uh, Sukumoyo can do it just hitting it right on the base, which is so different. It's amazing yeah, he could do it. It is. I remember Billy Gill, and he was a national coach, and he could do that serve. You couldn't return it. No. He would just do that to, to trick us. But uh, yeah, it's so hard to return. You almost have to jump at it. Yeah. Long is in here trying his very best to cover that space. won this tournament back in 2016. But it was Kukin Kia and Tan Boon Hyung from Malaysia that have won it three times, actually. Yeah, they were by far the best player from Malaysia for many years. Many, many years. Yes. Hard hitting, hardest hit as well. Fastest, Tan Boon Hyung. Yep. 306 miles per hour. Fantastic rally. I look at the defensive shot. This one that here. One, exactly. That's an incredible shot by Tui and Hong Yu Sin is getting out of trouble on that one. Look at that. He is in severe trouble. Little luck at the end, but you're right, Kyo, with that defense, it, not just getting it back, but how hard he hits it back and the quality is. is the way, great. and he can direct it cross court with uh, very good precision. And we are etching closer and closer to the climax as this set second game. Now is the time where the two Malaysians really have to watch out. What happened yesterday when uh, Sukumoyo and Gideon, they played uh, um, Govi Shem and Tanvi Kong. Suddenly they just took the last few points and then closed it down. Exactly, all of a sudden it's a train and they just keep rolling, it, it's hard to stop. Yeah. Broken racket. Gets back on court. Oh. What a rally. Forty-six shot rally. 
Yeah, the longest rally of the match. But not only that, one of the most entertaining ones as well. Well, the Malaysians are really playing well. The highest world ranking was 16, but to face up against the number ones, holding their own. And I think we now see the world number ones just slowly but surely just edging away and closing this second game down. Well, let's see if I'm right. 18 of 15 up. Whoa, what a shot! Ah, gotta love that. Yeah, it's amazing how he can change direction and look at that backhand spin there. He went for the forehand, it came to the backhand, and still look at how he played that shot. Uh, incredible. You have to admire that. You just have to smile when you see something like that. Sukumoyo you're so quick. And that's why the game of badminton is such a lovely game. So many fantastic details. And yet again... Agility, full speed. serve by Omni Sin. 20, match point, 16. Four match points here for the world number ones to clinch this uh, title. And it's going out. And Tep Gideon and Sukumolio takes a yet another title. Wonderful, wonderful match. Great to watch, great excitement. Fantastic credit to the two Malaysian players. Number 27 on the world ranking, but still, they made it so exciting. They sure did. Solid on defense, great attack, trying to find the openings, pushing the number ones in the world. They have to be proud the way they played, but that's why they're number one. They're the best right now. Look at the Indonesians. Absolutely. Here we've got the confirmation. Gideon Sukumoyo winning 21-15, 21-16 in 35 minutes. And we will, of course, advance to the prize money ceremony in just a second. It's coming up very soon. But what a pair this is from Indonesia. Gideon was under the wings and learned the ropes in the partnership with Marcus Kido. And due credit to Marcus Kido and how he taught Gideon a lot of things that he knows today. And they won the French Open together in 2013. Then suddenly Kevin Sukumoyo came of age and they formed this partnership and what a partnership it has been. Yeah, it's incredible. They're so good, so fast, getting on attack. They're so entertaining to watch. It's, it's the defense and how strong they are. They, they can do anything. They can. But still, they haven't won the World Championship. Or the Olympics. They haven't played the Olympics yet. <laughs> then I guess we can't win, but they haven't won it yet. <laughs> no. 2020, watch out. Yeah, let's see what happens. But men's doubles is so competitive. Lots and lots of things can happen. And they were, of course, top favourites to win in Nanjing in August 2018. But they lost to the Japanese duo Kamura and Sonoda. They went on to the final. And they lost to the Chinese player Li and Liu. is and on the right to Yi. They are actually only the third best pair in Malaysia at the moment. Gobi Shen, Tan Yu Tong is number one. Aaron Cha and So Yik is a number two. And this, this pair is a number three at the moment. 
but it's just good to have a good competition within uh, your country is always uh, motivating and you're always trying to do better exactly and malaysia always had great doubles and they push each other up, up the ranking uh, definitely solid solid game today exciting to watch but the malaysians the fans behind them too the, the support they have here it, it's incredible and it, it it's so fun to play in malaysia it's kl is going to present the metal and the flowers. They can be proud. What a tournament. They took out number eight seat. They took out number two seat in the first round and the quarter-final, how proud they can be. A very fine match against this world number one pair from Indonesia. So the Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia, the patron of Badminton Association of Malaysia, young Ahmad Muhammad Datuk Sri, Dr. Wan Asisa, Dr. Wan Ismail, is handing over the medals and the flowers. We also invite Yang Berbahagia Datuk Seri Muhammad Nur Zakaria, President of Badminton Association of Malaysia and President Olympic Council of Malaysia, OCM, to present the winner's checks. And the winner's checks are presented by Data Sri Mohammed Noza Sakaria, the president of Badminton Association of Malaysia and the president of the Olympic Council of Malaysia, the OCN. Champion will receive prize money worth 27,650 US dollars. They won it Thank back in 2016 much, and now Dr. again Sri, Dr. 2019. Sri, so the traditional the picture with the winners. And so we have the final picture here. And uh, it all started this uh, afternoon, actually at uh, 12 o'clock midday. Started off uh, with the women's doubles, where the world number one Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota 